281 white and Negro demonstrators, some of whom have been behind bars since Saturday on charges stemming from civil rights demonstrations. That summer of 64 was one of the most violent campaign that Dr. King confronted. A busload of us went from Albany to St. Augustine to support their campaign. There was a hotel that's called the Monston Motor Lodge. Black folks were denied a reservation there. They were denied the opportunity to have breakfast at the motel. And of course you were denied the opportunity to swim in the pool. But there were white people who stayed at the Monson Motor Lodge who had come down to support Dr. King and the movement. And of course, if you know, you stay at a hotel. You can invite guests if you go into the swimming pool. We put on our bathing suits and we went to the pool and we jumped into the pool. I was near the edge of the pool and all of a sudden I the water in front of my face started to bubble up like volcanic like a volcanic eruption I could barely breathe um, it was entering my nose and my eyes so I looked up and I saw the manager of the motel with a gallon of this substance that was muriatic acid, pouring it into the pool. It was just very frightening and terrifying because I really didn't see him coming. Momentarily, I look up and I see this guy, fully clothed, jumping into the pool over our heads. He landed into the pool. It was a policeman, a St. Augustine policeman, to arrest us, to usher us out of the pool. And there were other policemen there waiting for us and carted us off to jail. Its purpose is not to punish. Its purpose is not to divide, but to end divisions, divisions which have lasted all too long. I miss the movement. <laughs> I think with social media, you can, you know, you can tweet and what have you, but that does not equate with direct grassroots organizing. I think we're going backwards. I do. And in many instances, I think it's, it's worse. Let's behave as if we live in a democracy. And this Constitution and this country that you say you love so much and you're so dedicated to should not just be for white folks. It should, should be for all. My commitment to social justice and being an activist before I went to St. Augustine, um, had already been molded and crafted and shaped. St. Augustine was just another one of the stations on the journey.